Another product of sleepless nights and painstaking research by an author is presented to the public. The eighth chapter book with 196 pages exposes young and aspiring engineers to the basic principles for designing modern electromechanical machines. Experts describe the book as relevant to the quest for a technology-driven economy. The trend is changing. We actually have new industries coming up, particularly in the petrochemical side of things. So that some of our engineers, local engineers here, can begin to appreciate and understand the new phase of engineering, which is actually having powered machines, but mobile power machines. So this is actually one of the areas that this book actually contributes. In filling in some of the gaps of the deficiency that exists uh, that exist presently in the tertiary in the, uh, institutions, lack of access to textbooks, and some of the, te the textbook is also domesticated in such a way that it can be easily read in the contextual language that our student can easily understand. The basic principle is there, but without innovation, there can be a difference. Innovation is what takes it forward. The author and expert in microsystems engineering believes local content development is crucial to industrialization. Once you see building machines, building efficient machines, prototype machines, testing them out and see how, you know, how better they, they can be now compared to the huge machines that, that you normally find in, in labs to try and make machines more efficient whilst they dissipate less amount of heat. Um, that's one key area that I looked at in this book. There was advocacy for the provision of incentives towards addressing the perceived decline in students studying science and technology related courses in the country. In Abuja, Mitairi, Ikben, NTA News.